Hey, everybody. Welcome to Perpetual Motion Podcast, where curiosity meets career excellence. Join me, Dr. Mo Anderson, best-selling author, TEDx speaker, and healthcare provider on a journey of personal growth. In each weekly episode, we take a deep dive into inspiring and often hilarious conversations like today (laughs) with global experts. From communications mastery to wise investments, we have got you covered. Subscribe now and let's ignite your curiosity one empowering conversation at a time. Today, I'm going solo with a quickie, if you will. I'm calling it Five Top Things to Never Ask an Author. I've been writing and touring for a minute, as they say. And my biggest tour was actually my first novel, When a Sister's Fed Up, which was a national bestseller. I flew to 25 cities, and boy, were my arms tired. But I'm bump. Uh, Okay, I know that was corny. Seriously, that was my first big tour, and I had so many expectations. But none of those expectations included being asked questions about my personal life and finances. Oh, boy. While I appreciated the interest in my work, some folks not only went over the line, they didn't seem to know that lines exist. So in keeping with this educational podcast, Today, and today only, I'm sharing the results of my experience and my non-scientific poll of peers in my writer's group. If you are planning a book event, you just love reading, writing, and meeting authors, and like you're preparing to meet your favorite author at a literary festival, this one's for you. Ladies and gentlemen, never ask an author. You can't say Dr. Mo ain't tell ya that fear magnifies the consequences of failure. What are you scared of? Why are you afraid? I'd rather live like I'm dying than live to die any day. My heart is pure, my soul is safe. Do you love reading? Do you love authors? Do you go to book signings? Do you listen to their podcasts? Do you just love words like me? I not only love to read words, I like to write them. I've written several books. In case you're wondering, it's not just Dr. Mo the dentist, but I'm actually an author. Been on lots of tours. I've been at it whew, almost three decades. And I have done signings, done panels, done workshops. I get so many questions, so many questions from people who want to write their own book, people who've written a book but haven't published it yet, and people who are just really, really curious and ask very, very unusual questions. In fact, they're questions that I believe you should never ask an author. You want to know what you should never ask an author? Number one, is that you looking at the clearly Photoshopped, retouched, filtered photo of me on the jacket of some book, especially this one. I even had him trim my hair up a little bit. Is that you? Hey, come on. I'm standing right here. Now, you know, I can go on your Instagram and Facebook. and There's a reason my neck is such a different color from my face. You too, with a makeup artist, with a glam team and good lighting and duct tape and super glue, you too can look like a published author. What's another question they ask me a lot? Oh, is this a true story? This one is professional development. You can look at the cover and tell it's probably true. This, just some legs crossed, and the fact that it says novel on it, novel, fiction, meaning it is not true. And there's a disclaimer in there saying anything that appears to be remotely true, for all intents and purposes, according to my attorney, is not true. So if it's fiction... You don't need to ask that question. A novel means it's not true. Uh, What's another one? Oh, what do you do with your royalties? What do you do with your money? And it's even either said in a tone like, wow, you know, you must have lots of money and be doing all these amazing things with it. Or like, you owe the community. You should be giving back. You, You don't know what the author does with their money. So, you know, don't condemn them. 
but that really, uh, what do you do with your check? That's what I want to know. Do I help people? Yes, I help the people at the electric company. I help the people at the cable company. I help the people at the grocery store because I am contributing income to their company, which I hope is funneling its way back to them in terms of wages. And I do give to charity. I do help a lot of people, but come on, that's a bit personal. That is just a wee bit personal. What I do with my profits, with my money? Come on. Uh, will you read my 800 page book, like typed single space, in all of your spare time? Will you read that and tell me what you think? I can understand why you would ask an author that, but um, that's another job. That's called editing. And if you want someone to edit your book and not read for pleasure or to uh, write a testimonial, an endorsement, something for the jacket cover, then you really should offer to pay them or hire a professional editor because they're really good at it. A lot of authors aren't very good editors. So, no, that's not real, real cool to ask. And I don't think people think about it. I've been asked a lot, and I don't know shade. I don't say anything mean. I just say no. No, I cannot do that. I have very little spare time, and I cannot edit your book for free. So never ask an author that, and I am quite certain all my author friends agree with me that you shouldn't. I mean, what about you? You want to work for free when you're not working to do your professional type work for free? I think not, and I wouldn't ask you. So last thing is, uh, have you thought about going on Oprah L. Super Soul Sunday's year, right? Yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> uh, whatever. We've all thought about it. We'd all love to, but you know what would be even better? If you love authors, you love their work, you submit them. You can go on any television program's website, and they ask for show ideas. You submit your favorite person. Tell them why. That probably means much more than the million emails and <laughs> we send and our mothers and fathers and so significant others. So, hey, support your local authors if you love words like I do. And never ask an author, is that you? And wasn't that a great program? Oh, love that episode. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Learn more about me on my website, drmoanderson.com. That's M-O-E. You can read book excerpts, watch videos, learn about my services that I offer, and book me for a speaking engagement. I'd love to talk with your group, and I'd love to work with you. So until the next time, review, renew, and re-you. Thank you.